Thank you for tuning in. Today's devotion is for December 31st. The scripture states, And he said unto me, These things are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 6. In the darkest days of her long conflict with evil, the church of God has been given revelations of the eternal purpose of Jehovah. His people have been permitted to look beyond the trials of the present to the triumphs of the future. When the warfare having been accomplished, the redeemed will enter into possession of the promised land. These visions of future glory, scenes pictured by the hand of God, should be dear to his church today. When the controversy of the ages is rapidly closing and the promised blessings are soon to be realized in all their fullness. Clad in the armor of Christ's righteousness, the church is to enter upon her final conflict. Fair as the moon, clear as the sun, and terrible as an army with banners. She is to go forth into all the world, conquering and to conquer. The prophets to whom these great scenes were revealed longed to understand their full import. They inquired and searched diligently, searching what or what manner of time the Spirit of Christ which was in them did signify. Unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves, but unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you. Look up, look up, and let your faith continually increase. Let this faith guide you along the narrow path that leads through the gates of the city into the great beyond, the wide, unbounded future of glory that is for the redeemed. Let us pray. Look up, look up. Wow, another year has gone down in history. We are now at the last day of this year. And all we can do is just praise God and thank Him that we have made it. Not everyone that saw the beginning of the year is here at its ending. So because we are here, we can truly say thank you, Lord. And we can pray for those who have lost loved ones. Even we ourselves that have lost loved ones, we are praying, Heavenly Father, that you will comfort our minds and our hearts. Comfort the minds and hearts of the people, dear Lord, who have lost loved ones. I hope and pray that those who we have lost have fallen asleep and are now resting in the ground, waiting for Jesus' soon return, so that when he comes with the shout of the trumpet, they will awake from their sleep in graves, from their slumber in the ground, and will wake up to immortality. And then we who are alive will be caught up in the air to be with Jesus, and so we will be for eternity. Help us to be ready to meet the new year with our faith strengthened in your word. Because if nothing else, this past year should have shown us how true your words are. How true it is that there is evil and that people will lie and do whatever they need to do for their gain, for their glory. I pray we would have experienced, though, your love, your truth, your peace, your joy amidst all the craziness that has taken place. And I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will equip us for what is ahead. Help us to stand firm in your truth. Help us to be prepared to be bold for you. Help us to love you more than we love ourselves, more than we love our children, more than we love our family, more than we love our cars, our homes. 
Help us to put you first and foremost. Father, thank you for keeping us through this year. Thank you for your blessings. Help us to make wise decisions on how we celebrate the end of this year and the beginning of next. Help us to be mindful what we put in our bodies. Help us to be mindful of where we go, what we eat, what we wear, what we think, what we say, how we behave. Help us to know that you are God that sees and knows all, even the motives and intentions of our hearts and minds. Help us to come to an understanding of you and your love. Thank you so much, dear Lord. Help us as a church, as a people who are followers of Christ, we say, to truly reflect Christ, to be about your business, to share the everlasting gospel, to reach out to people who need help and to help them, to not be selfish. Lord, help us, please. Cleanse our minds and hearts. Remove all the distractions. Remove whatever faultiness that the devil has planted within us. And let your will be done in our lives, we pray. Thank you for your love. Help us to pray, surrender, and serve you and others. Thank you so much. Forgive us. Your will be done, I pray in Jesus' name with thanksgiving. Amen.